let's talk about penalties under the Fair Business Practices Act because they're somewhat different whether it is a consumer complaint, a civil lawsuit brought by a customer or a state investigation. The state will penalize or attempt to penalize a dealer for each violation. Let's have an example. Let's say the dealer is charging, we're gonna get into ETR fees later, but let's say the dealer is overcharging ETR fees. They're charging an amount that's not reasonable. The state could levy a fine or assess a fine for every violation, right? So let's say it's 500 violations over the course of a year. The state could levy 500 fines, one for each. For the consumer, it's a different sort of analysis. For the consumer, it's not about the harm to the general public, it's about the harm to that consumer. So what was the harm of the dealer's misrepresentation, let's say, or the dealer's concealment of information, of the dealer's unfair practice to that consumer, what is the harm? And that's an analysis that's case by case, and that's where you get into damage analysis in any lawsuit. Uh, or any demand, right, to, to actually analyze what are the damages for the Dealers Act. Now, what's interesting about the Fair Business Practices Act that's different than a lot of statutes is it includes a, tr a, a an amount for tr what we call treble damages in the event of an intentional act. So if it is found that the dealer intentionally attempted to harm the consumer through its acts, then the dealer could be liable for something called treble damages. Not a word you use often, not a word I would expect most dealers to even know what that means, but it's one of these legal words. I don't know why we use it complicated, but it really means triple. So in the event that there's a $10 damage, if it's trebled, it's $30 in damage. So this is where the Fair Business Practices Act becomes a real thorn in the side for a lot of dealers because a dealer might sell an $8,000 uh, 2013 Accord with 120,000 miles on it perf actually have a Fair Business Practices Act violation, commit some unfair business practice that harms the consumer. In depositions and discovery, the consumer can prove or show or establish that the dealer acted with intent and that $8,000 damage becomes a $24,000 damage. So whereas the dealer thought the dealer was selling this you know, relatively affordable car. It's not worth all that much. We're not talking about a new Lamborghini. We're talking about a 2013 Accord with over 100,000 miles on it. And next thing they know, they're paying an attorney to defend a lawsuit, tens of thousands of dollars, and they're also getting hit with a 20, 30, $40,000 Fair Business Practices Act treble damage violation. So these can be big deals. But that's where the damages come in in the Fair Business Practices Act. The Secretary of State has the ability to fine based on each violation, and the consumer sues for the actual damage incurred, potentially treble damages. They, there are also some other lines, attorney's fees, potentially punitive damages, other things, but the treble is specific to the Fair Business Practices Act.